of an update a couple of hours later been doing other things but multitasking so yeah it's in a pretty bad way this bumper it's not going to come back to new status with all the deep scratches in it it's okay so I realized when I started cleaning it it had like a grime on it or a previous sort of wax polish I don't know what it was no idea some disgusting stuff so a bit of gr Grand's uh, Remedy went out and got a big lemon tree here grabbed a couple of lemons cut them in half and squeezed a heap of lemon juice over it and raided the cupboard got some uh, Stilo scratch pads I think you meant to use like no, triple O's or I don't know what it is some magical number um, near enough is good enough for me and I just um, squeeze the lemon juice on there and then gave it a rub with the Stilo and that scratches up what was on there opens it up and lets the juice get in and you leave it for about 20 minutes and it's not a, it's not a polishing thing it's just a clean it I mean you can use vinegar as well I think anything like that so did that and I thought uh, I don't know this is going to be a bit of a hard project this so raided the cupboard again and ended up with some uh, Silvo, um, it's only because I had it in the cupboard here, it's, it's alright for chrome. So I thought well how am I going to sort of polish it, so yeah come up with a cutting plan, everyone will be screaming now don't do that to chrome, but I'm telling you it's, yeah, it's not in a good way anyway. So I stuck a um, Steelo pad to the bottom of the buffer here and I just I'll show you what I do I don't recommend this if you got something good don't do it because you'll probably ruin it this is already gone as far as I'm concerned I mean the next option is re-chroming if you want it to look brand new I'm not going backwards by doing this I tried it um, where the number plate was and that was really bad and I thought well if it scratches it up it won't matter because the number plate's going to go back on there anyway and it actually brought it up pretty good so a little carry on so I just smear that around like that bit of godly goop so you're never ever going to buff the deep scratches out you're never going to bring a shine up with Stilo but it's cleaning it, it's getting it down. So the next thing is, um, I'll just do a little bit of sanding, the noise will be bad. is it'll go dry pretty quick so I um, get a little bit of water here chuck a little water on with it people watching this laughing but it's all good that's why I put it up I'm not frightened to show what I do it's what YouTube's all about entertainment smashed it all over there I realize the steelo will dull it off now yeah, the compressor shut off I know the steelo will dull it. it it's quite aggressive but it's yeah it's one step back to go forward I think because I never would have got that with a normal polish on a on a fluffy wheel or anything like that or a rag you'd never get it to that stage it's hard to see with the light in here as well it's it's got like watermarks in the chrome someone watching this will know what it is they'll tell me straight away I haven't 
done any research or anything about it. I'm just mucking around. It's starting to rain pretty hard outside, so one of those days. It's the end of the day yet. Just try something. Uh, certainly very smooth. Super smooth, well, apart from the stone chips, obviously, dents and scratches roots. I might be able to bring that up with a um, with a buffer. I got a um, I got a normal well, it's a Roby buffer. I'll put a put the correct cloth on that. And I might be able to bring it up. I know um, people use auto sole. No, I don't know what the difference between auto sole and brasso and all that is. Can't imagine there's a lot of different um, difference in the makeup, but could be. I'm not a chemical man. Certainly nice to touch. As you said, it's the light's bad. It's full of scratches. Don't want to try and sand those out because I know what will happen. Uh, if we can get it semi clean, that'll match the rest of the truck. Nothing's going to be. That's why I don't like shiny things. I had the thought in my head um, if the bumper doesn't polish out to any reasonable condition, worst case scenario, I suppose we could take the chrome off and um, paint the bumper. But I don't think that'd be a good look. It's not the type of truck where you get away with that. Um, and I wouldn't even know what colour to do it. I, I know it just wouldn't look right. You're better off to probably have a semi-dull chrome bumper on there versus a painted one. Um, I, th I think I'll get it to what I can and put it on the truck. And if it doesn't look any good, well, we can always just take it off and work from there. It's, it's not the end of the world with it. And I might try and find some um, Peterbilt mud flaps for the front. I'll see what I can find online. There's certainly nothing here in this country. You can just can't walk down to the store and buy them. Got to order everything, Amazon, eBay, or wherever, and suck up the shipping costs. Um, the other thing I've got to do is find the um, window rubber seal boot to go on here. I haven't done much about that yet. I do have the part number. I just yeah haven't chased it up, and I need to do that because we're getting to the point where it's probably going to take a month to three months to get it here. And by then it's getting into our summer and I should have some paint on it by then. And I'll go to town, get the windows um, made. I'll give you an update on that when I do that and see how I go with it. So I'll just sort of give you a little catch up with what I'm doing and I'll leave it at that for now. Okay, I'm over the bumper for a while, so we've moved on to something else. Um, got my door latch arrangement, whatever you want to call it. So, I cut some um, roofing paper. It's got a tar product in it. So, I've cut it, oh, sorry, I've cut it all out. And I'm just going to see if I can test fit it, some of this in the door, see what it's going to do. I might be able to sit you over here. Oh. Yep. Alright, so what I've gone and done is got some um, brass head um, machine screws. I'm going to possibly, if they work, fit those and I'll fill the slot with some body filler. And they'll look like a rivet. I don't want to rivet them in just yet because um, I may have to take them out to put the door lock in. I'm just going to do a test fit with all this. So I'm going to flat washer them and spring washer on the back side. One hole lined up. I've ordered the door locks, but I think the price I paid 
they're coming in their own 40 foot shipping container. So they're not cheap. So we just can't go down to Walmart and buy stuff here. I don't think you could paint the door and then put those on as they may crack the paint when you put them in. I don't know, I'll ask the paint man. I don't know. No, I can't, it won't work because I can't. No, whether I could fill those and they would do up without turning. I should try one later. If I'll do up without turning in the door, it means I can fill those and paint those separately. This door's got some shutting issues. I think the rubber that's pulling on the hinge there. Gotta figure out what's going on with that. Something not right in there. Got it wrong. Oh, it's not even on there. Come on. Oof. My temporary didn't work. So I will show you in here. It's a little bit dark, sorry. But yeah, I haven't got the actual lock clipped in yet. But yeah, I'll put that in there. set the door up right, we'll get it working. You just rough it out and I'll do a smooth run over it. That's it. Good. I'll do one pass. How do I? Terrible. Still got a hole in there. Yep, you got it. Good. I'll just do a run over the top with this wide one. I can't put it on with this one. You're doing good. Right. Yep. Gonna have a bit on there to sand off. Right, it's one of the things you do, you get bored with what you're doing, so you move on to something else. This bumper uh, was laying outside here. It wasn't on this truck when I got it. It was in a pile of um, other bits and, bits and pieces because this truck had a water cart on it for a short time, so they removed the um, rear bumper. And obviously the water cart hung right out. Rear overhang would have been 
1.5 or something maybe or a meter with its own um, spray bar and it will have lights probably on the back of the water cart it's what they normally have so yeah i retrieved this out of the pile and i wasn't sure whether it even belonged to this truck but um looking at the other ones up there it all looked the same so i've just dummy fitted it done a bit of panel work on it because um my next thing is to blast and paint it so i didn't want to straight i didn't want to um obviously blast and prime it and then realize that it actually doesn't fit so one of the things i've done is um jack the truck up obviously and looks weird sitting like that i'm so used to it sitting on an angle so i got the spirit level on there and it's plumbed up sitting level i have no idea where the chassis is going to ride when the airbags are in it um, i realized there is a calculation to set all that and the angle on the drive shaft and that i have to do a bit of research but that's a long way from now so what i want to do is to say get the bumper on and it's sitting on there and the next thing i need to do is measure use my big foot measure from here to the front somewhere of these wheels here and i'm going to go away soon to where the mud guards are manufactured possibly and just see what's available go with a few drawings and see what i can make fit obviously the four single ones fit on there i know they're very close in the middle here most trucks have got a um, piece of aluminium checker plate in there as a step but yeah this one i think they were only that far apart so it's no very wide wheelbase in here plus you had 1100 tires as well which makes a big difference versus so i just thought i'll throw that on the video apologize if it's yeah not very entertaining stuff but i'm getting very very close to um yeah starting to blast and prime quite a few things so i just want to do dummy fits make sure it's all going to be good before I obviously throw paint on and realise it doesn't fit and start grinding and cutting. So actually quite quite like that rear bumper, it suits that age of that truck. Most of the aluminium now and part of the guards and all that, real nice, but yeah, this is gonna have, as I said, the industrial look to it. So another five minute job, turns into a half hour job. Whatever you call these doodackies here latches door slam i don't know um yeah the bushes are worn out so i'm just going to um i found the right tools luckily i have a few things need a ratchet so i'm just going to see what i got that i can fix this up with the one on the other side is yeah, it's pretty coomered. As long as we'll have a go at tidying these things up, I've got time. That one's not too bad. Worn a bit. Been a long way, done a lot of rattling. That's up over there. Alright, see what I've got. After a bit of investigating, put that off. I see it's quite a special design. It's got a groove up inside here where it fits and all that, but we don't need to get that technical. I had a hunt around down my lathe room and you yeah, got a box of these. It's about, about the right size. Slightly shorter, but um, the jaws on the door and not, not going to disappear up into there. It'll work. So, and I found a bit of a bit of rubber stuff. I'll replace that. Now comes the challenge. Try and wrap the rubber around there. Poke that in under under that. And no, I don't listen to the clicking all day. I've normally got the radio going, but due to the YouTube rules, 
You uh, can't do it. That's all good. Ow! That hurt. Safety first. I'm just opening that up, trying to feed that on. Right yet. Hold that open. Try and feed the rubber through a bit. Oh, ow. Move again. It's bunched up there. That's a big mess. What have I done there? I haven't even got the end in there. There it is. Lucky you're not paying me by the hour. that one I spread it a bit it's better I can shut the door but I haven't got the latch in there yet I'm still working on that it's on there so we're not grabbing on the joint there see how that works pretty tight pull that door over off that'll help got all new um, door seals and that for it something like that Sure, if you put it at the back, it goes right around and grabs. Have a halfway, half right, half wrong. I've got the window shut on this because it's um, yeah, opposite to anyone in the States. We've still got the air cylinder on this side, which is obviously passenger side in the States. But I looked at changing it all over, but you yeah, know, all the window mechanism and yeah, big problem. Doesn't work. Be easier to put another air cylinder on the other side. All right, on with this. Let's see what it does. Door's quite tight there. Yeah, that's latched properly. Put grease all over the over the paintwork. It's got to be wiped down with thinners. Seems to work. Put the latch in, I think, next, and we can figure out what it's going to do. I'll go and do the other side. I'll do that off camera, the other one. The other passenger's door, I'm not sure whether I filmed it or not, um, had a lot of trouble. They'd only get to about here, a good uh, four inches from shutting, and it was pulling on the hinge. So off camera, I've mucked around, and yeah, I've I think the pillar, well the mount on the hinge, it's been pulled. And this one looks the same. It's just starting to flex the, the back of the hinge there. So yeah, on the other side I did all sorts to try and remedy it. It was a bit of a mission. Um, up in here, where the slider works for the door, I've checked all that to make sure that wasn't fouling. Um, some of these bolts I could see were touching. This one's got a rubber on it, this door. The other side didn't have that. Yeah, some of these bolt heads. So yeah, this here has been pulled in here. Door's been opened in the wind and she's had a big yank around, I'd say. You can see it pulls it. Rattling rods. 
you know, we'll just get it working. Right, I'll put the, I'll go and do the other side. Don't need to see me do that. And I shall um, put the latch in on this side. <laughs> 